We were talking about single payer earlier with um, with John from uh, San Antonio, and uh, Bernie Sanders is going to be introducing a uh, single payer Medicare for all type bill. Obviously, it's not going to become law under the current uh, makeup of our legislation, but the idea is to introduce and broaden the support for this, which already has. Um, a majority of support in the country. And there are people, I'm convinced, who support this and don't even quite realize it or can't admit it yet. And of course, I'm talking about the teary-eyed Glenn Beck. And there's nothing more difficult for a parent than having to worry about medical insurance. So... I get it. I get it. And as apparently one of the few employers that actually care, the one thing we have to do is get this insurance out of the hands of the employers. You just, we need to have, All right, pause we it. need to have. All right. Yeah. A lot of people have talked about this. Decouple it from the employer because, of course, you don't want to have to change your insurance as you move. Now, a lot of employers... I don't uh, know that uh, Glenn, how big Glenn Beck's operation is anymore, but some of the big, big ones, um, they they self-insure, and just the insurance companies actually um, uh, 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 pay for it. So I guess he's saying, like, put everybody out on an individual market. But wait a second, that's not going to work. We're, you can't just have everybody buying insurance individually. Continue, Matt. We need to have... We need to have bigger groups of mm. people. You should be able to, you know, join, you know, your church's um, medical care, your, your whatever group you're in. The, I don't even know, the, the New York Yankees medical care. The, why, why would you even need, uh, you should be able to join any group you want. Yes. You should be able to post on a message board, I would like to create a new group of people who have insurance. Pause it, join right. now. Pause it. Here's, the, here's the, I think, what they're trying to get at is that when you join a group, what you do, you're spreading out the risk. So other people in the group who won't necessarily get sick are paying for those people who end up do getting sick. It, it, what it does is it spreads mm. out the risk. And you want to have a big group, right? I think we're heading in a dangerous a big, direction here. A big group because that but spreads not too out the big. risk. That spreads out the risk. I mean, it's like, you know, if you... Uh, if you I mean, I think most people are familiar. You don't have to be a carpenter. Like, if you're stepping on something, you want to, you want to like distribute that weight out as much as you can. So, you know, but not too much, it or it's Wait communism. No, here we go. Wait a sec. Let's, let's Correct. continue. The point is that the, the, the regulations stop this all the time. These sorts of right. things. If because you had a free market, could happen easily. They want to trap us into the into the into the medical care from our employers. And those groups, those pools are not big enough for mm. some, especially small businesses like ours. It's just not big enough. And that should stop. And again, this bill doesn't attack Pause that at all. at all. Pause it. You, you need a big, you need to get a big, big group. You need it to be really big. The bigger, the better. Oh. Why, does it, why don't we have a bill that, that attacks that issue? Because nobody is, I, I'm convinced that people go to Washington and they might actually be convinced that they're trying to do it for the American people, that they actually care about the American people. And I think a lot of them do when they first start. And then they get so far removed from the American people and so far removed and they get into this esoteric, you know, free market stuff or, or political stuff that they lose track on why it is they believe in the free market in the first place. And they just get lost. I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking they about, get, Junior. They get lost. They get lost. So let me just push this together. We need a really, really big group that is accessible to Americans. A big group. The biggest group we can get. Great group. And the only reason why we can't get there is because people get caught up in this esoteric free market stuff that keeps us. They lose track of what we just need to do is get... Like a big, big group to make it less expensive to buy insurance, to cover everybody. What's the biggest group Everyone. in America that we could think of? Wait. 
Don't get caught up in free market esoteric stuff. A- Everyone? Or Able- political stuff. Able-bodied white men. <laughs> That's a group. Also um, non-Jews. <laughs> and I'd recommend that Puerto Ricans not be allowed to practice optotrometry. <laughs> It could be everyone. It could be everyone, but... Germs. That would be... (sighs) We've got to take a commercial break. (laughs) There it is. I'm Scott, I mean... It's almost like I was almost picturing Bernie with that meme. There's a meme where Jack Nicholson's giving you, like, the wide eyes and the crazy nod, like, yeah, keep going, keep going. Bernie's off to the side, like... Keep going, Glenn. I wonder, I mean, honestly, like, I I think if Glenn Beck thought that he could get away with it, he would be, he would be, like, criticizing the Jacobin from the left. Do you think, though, it's very interesting that it seems to me now that there is a, there is a, a weird environment opening, which maybe he's consciously trying to step into, where it used to be, like, if you were some right wing hack, your extension to like the center when they did it would be like, well, maybe I'm pro-choice or I don't hate gay people or maybe there should be a little bit of gun control. That used to be the thing back in the day. O'Reilly actually would throw those issues. And now it seems like, yeah. And now it actually seems weirdly like it's like maybe certain economic populist issues are migrating into that place possibly. They said earlier in that segment that they don't care what happens with healthcare now. They're kind of like done. They want to be done fighting it. Right. I mean, here's the thing. What, what this does, in some ways, vindicates a lot of um, the argument uh, for, for Obamacare, which was it's going to create the sense in Americans' minds that health care is a right. It, it, it hasn't executed it properly, and it's an effed up system. But the ideological war, right, it starts, that's the, that's the, uh, the margin, is that, okay, health care is a right. The, the Republicans lost so badly because they were trying to pretend that they were arguing that, but it was so clearly they were arguing that health care is not a right. Now, you want to call in and say, how dare, where in the Constitution says it's right? I don't care. It's a, you want to call it a, an expected privilege? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, the American public believe that, you want to call it an earned privilege? The American public believes that with a country as rich as ours, that they deserve health care. It that really... everybody deserves health care. And, and now, like, you know, uh, we're arguing from that terrain. And now is really the question, like, what's the most efficient way of providing it? Krauthammer actually acknowledged that, I noticed over the week. He said that the defeat was a philosophical victory for Obama and the notion that it's a right. And, you know, it just struck me in reading the coverage that, you know, as obviously as catastrophic and as horrific as the Ryan bill was like, and as, and as frankly meager as Obamacare is in some ways, if we're being honest, like just the notion that going back to 2008, like that was just a real common, like, Oh, that person doesn't have health insurance or, Oh, you get blocked from, you have a preexisting, right. that was normal. Right. That was a normal, well, thing, expected it? conversation, and it's completely unacceptable. And now, and now you're right; it's been ingrained that wait a second, that's a completely untenable they, situation. They, the 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 Obama administration, the name of the bill is not the Affordable Care Act. The name of the bill is Patients. the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Yes, and for Pain. whatever reason, they focused on the Affordable Care Act part because maybe that sells, but. Should have been uh, Patients' Bill of Rights Plus. Yes. I mean, who knows? But uh, but it, it survived, and now the question is, how do you go forward? And, you know, will Donald Trump ever become uh, desperate enough to sign on to a bill like this? I mean, I mean, how funny would it be if the Democrats took back the House and the Senate and Donald Trump ends up signing? Look at the, you guys now. The, yeah, but look at you guys. Let's use a public option. 
as long as Ivanka gets to continue to yeah. work, do her work, you leave and the Russia stuff. Jared right? doesn't go to jail, and <laughs> or Jared goes to jail, and Ivanka continues to do her work yeah. here. Oh, sorry, Jared. Looks like he got the short end of the stick. Yes. By the way, stop touching my girlfriend. <laughs> Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.